So everybody, Papa Richard here. I'm making up some little little planters here to go in my greenhouse. I showed you my greenhouse the other day that I had made a couple years ago when I hardly ever used it. And uh, the reason I didn't use it because uh, the temperature just goes, you know, 110 and then went down to 45, you know. And uh, so it's hard to uh, manage it. But now that it's more in the winter time, I thought I'd just throw in some some plants in there and just see how they go. Just kind of, you know. And uh, I got a little shelf along the side that these will fit on. And uh, so what I did is I drilled some holes in the bottom. And uh, we'll, we'll fill them up with dirt and we'll see how it goes here. There they are. They got beets, turnips, gourmet lettuce, cabbage, chard, and kale. And uh, I set them over here on the side. Once they bloom, I might move them over where the sun hits more often. But uh, once they germinate. But uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. You got all these shelves here that can be used for growing. And, uh, no sense in just leaving it here. What I'm going to do is uh, cut it for microgreens and then just leave one in or two in it and let them grow out to baby greens or let them grow all the way out. And uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Alrighty. It's been about five weeks, I guess. And the, the cabbage didn't handle the cold very well. There's some still alive in the middle, but. It died off. This is the, the kale. The kale looks really good. This is the lettuce. I was really surprised that this would be able to handle the cold. The turnips, they look like they're not doing too well because of the cold. And this is this is the beets. The beets look like they're doing real well. Growing really slow though. So that's where we're at out here. I've done taking in my two trays already because I didn't want to leave them out here in the cold because they would die. They just got down to like, I think 12, you know, and it's been rainy and overcast, so not much sun, so they don't grow too fast out here. Well, there you have it. Like I said, I'll just let them grow for microgreens at first. I'll cut a few, cut most of them and leave a couple back behind, let them grow, and then we'll let them grow to baby greens. Or maybe I'll just let them grow to baby greens and then cut them. We'll see how it goes. Or maybe they'll die. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, need to have some kind of a automatic way of controlling the heat in there. Because, you know, you get a warm 60 degree day and it ends up being 100 degrees in there. But we'll see how it goes. I'm out here most of the time, so... I did a good variety so I can see which ones work the best. Alrighty, this is Bapa Blue Shirt. Thanks for watching. <laughs>